Concerns among Canadian farmers are rising over the appointment of the new Minister of Environment and Climate Change. Host of Real Ag Radio, Sean Haney, joins us now with the very latest. Good to have you with us, Sean. So what did farmers say on Real Ag Radio yesterday? Hey, Tammy, great to be with you. So we, we asked a, a number of farmers that uh, appeared on the show yesterday what they thought about the cabinet appointment. And uh, all five suggested they were pleased, happy, uh, fine were the words that were used with the appointment of Minister uh, Marie-Claude Babil back to agriculture and agri-food, as we discussed earlier this week. Um, but uh, much of the concern uh, is, is really lies at the feet of the appointment of Stephen Gilbeau, as the Minister of Environment and Climate Change. He has a history uh, as an environmental activist. There was actually a time where he was uh, charged with uh, an activist stunt where he climbed the CN Tower in Toronto to protest uh, Canada's inaction on climate change. There's going to be a lot of pressure on him to act aggressively. And, and farmers are very concerned where agriculture may or may not fit into uh, some of his intentions, as it really does appear that this Canadian government, this new one that will begin sitting on November 22nd, will be much more, uh, it, they seem to have a lot more momentum behind them and a lot more ambition when it comes to climate, which for some of the audience will be hard to believe because it felt like they were quite ambitious before. Uh, but it definitely has farmers wondering where agriculture fits in this new plan. I can see that. So do you think Minister Bibo will be able to provide kind of a counterbalance in response um, to the cabinet colleagues? Well, when, it, when you talk to farmers and farm groups like I have been this week, that's their hope. That's their expectation of her. I, I think that's going to be a pretty clear message to her behind the scenes is that you know, she's going to need to stick up and stand up at the cabinet table for agriculture. So instead of the idea of being a liaison from go for uh, government back to the farm community, she needs to be the liaison from the farm community back to the cabinet table with the government. And uh, there has been questions about her ability to have influence at the cabinet table prior, uh, you know, in the past. But uh, that doesn't mean that farm groups won't encourage her to provide that counterbalance and provide some, I guess, a sense of reason when it comes to how some of the aggressiveness on fighting climate change, how that could impact agriculture, and how agriculture actually can be a solution here and is not the problem, as some people like to uh, profess. Right. Now, I know that November 22nd they take office, but how quickly do you think we'll be able to see the new Minister of Environment in action and kind of better understand uh, his intentions? Well, he held a press conference this morning uh, before he takes off for COP26 in Scotland for, for next week. Uh, Lindsay Smith from our team was on that call. She's going to provide an update what she heard today on Real Ag Radio on our Real Ag Issues panel. I think COP26 is, is really going to be a bit of an indication on how aggressive uh, Canada is going to be. We, we heard Prime Minister Trudeau, he's doing a joint press conference as we speak with the Prime Minister of the Netherlands. They talked a lot about climate in that presser. So uh, I think next week will give us a bit of an indication where uh, Minister Guibault is going to be and uh, what some of his, his plans are. All right. That's host of Real Ag Radio, Sean Haney. Appreciate you joining us today. And don't forget, you can catch Sean on his show, Real Ag Radio, which airs 4.30 p.m. Eastern weekdays on Real Radio, Channel 147 on Sirius XM. And we'll visit with him again on Market Day Report on Monday.